COVID, COVID, COVID. We all have been tired of hearing about this virus. Viruses are always changing and this can cause a new strain or new variant of a virus to form. On 14th December 2020, news media reported a new strain of the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19 identified in the United Kingdom. And since then, other variants have been identified and are under investigation. Information about the characteristics of this variant is rapidly emerging. Scientists are working to learn more about are people more at risk for getting sick? Will the COVID-19 vaccine still work? What is the cause behind the origin of this new strain of virus? So in this video, I am going to answer all these questions and clear your doubts. So the new strain of coronavirus has arisen from the mutation. So what is mutation? Mutation is something that is happening all the time in all the living organisms on earth. It occurs in plants, animals as well as in viruses. Mutation is so essential that the evolution can't be possible without it. We would not have existed on earth without it. So what is it? Simply speaking, mutation is a mistake that occurs while copying a gene. Whenever there is the change in sequence of DNA, there is mutation. It occurs due to several reasons but mainly due to two reasons. First one is environmental change which is caused due to several reasons such as nuclear radiations and UV rays. And the second reason of mutation is reproduction. Whenever a living organism reproduces, there is mutation. Mutation are sometimes even beneficial too. Like for example, we human beings have trichromatic vision, which means we can differentiate between three colors, red, green and blue. But some animals have dichromatic vision and some even lack the ability to perceive all the colors that So talking about mutation in viruses, it is happening all the time. Some viruses have RNA instead of DNA. SARS-CoV-2 virus also has RNA. RNA is single-stranded while DNA is double-stranded. While reproduction, there are many chances of an error in copying of RNA and this is why viruses that has RNA see far more mutations. Like for example, one reason you need a flu shot every year because the influenza viruses change every year. This year's virus probably isn't the exact same that circulated last year. As long as the coronavirus spreads through the population, mutations will continue to happen. The new variants of the virus are detected every week, but most come and go while some persist. Hence it turned out that the viruses that were found in the human beings during the first wave of the pandemic weren't all the same. At present, the multiple variants of the coronavirus have been identified in several countries like United Kingdom, United States, Brazil, India, California, South Africa and many other areas. Coronaviruses are named for the crown-like spikes on their surfaces. Scientists monitor the changes in the virus including changes to the spikes on their surfaces and its genetic analysis. According to some research, there are about 17 genetic changes that are found in the new variant of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Mutation has affected the coronavirus spike protein which covers the outer coating of the SARS-CoV-2 virus and gives the virus its characteristic shiny appearance. Mutation has also affected the COVID by increasing its binding power in our cells which is making it more contagious in terms of its spread. So are new variants more dangerous than the previous one? According to England's chief medical officer, there is no evidence so far to suggest that the new variant causes higher death rate. But more research needs to be done on this topic. Due to mutation, the new variants of the SARS-CoV-2 virus are found to be 70% more infectious than the previous one. But if we look at the history of viruses in past, Whenever viruses like Ebola and influenza have gone through mutation, they became more contagious but less deadly. Mutations that make a virus more deadly may not give the chance or opportunity to virus to spread more efficiently. 
but this seems to be an exception in the case of Bengal variant which is spreading right now in India as it seems to be more contagious and even more deadly but scientists are working to do further more research about this one and there is no any convincing evidence to suggest that any of these variants have special propensity to infect or cause disease in children. And there is a question in everyone's mind. Are vaccines still safe? UK's Prime Minister Boris Johnson has said that there is no evidence to suggest that these vaccines will be less effective against this new strain of the coronavirus. The health ministers of France and Germany has also maintained that according to all that we know till now about this new strain of virus, the vaccines that are being manufactured will be as effective against the new strain. But some scientists are concerned as well. With the passage of time, a mutation might arise which will make the virus even more powerful in such a way that the vaccines will be ineffective against it. More studies are needed to be done on this topic. So far, studies suggest that the antibody generated through vaccination with currently authorized vaccines recognize this variant. This is being closely investigated and more studies are underway. So how can we be safe? There is no demonstration yet that these new variants are biologically different in ways that would require change in the current recommendations meant to limit the spread of COVID-19. But as with any virus, changes are something to be watched to ensure that the testing, treatment and vaccines are still effective. Rigorous and increased compliance with public health mitigation strategies such as vaccination, physical distancing and good ventilation indoors, use of mask, hand hygiene and isolation and quarantine is essential to limit the spread of the virus that causes COVID-19 and protect public health. It also reduces the spread of the even more contagious variants if they do occur. And many countries like United Kingdom have enforced emergency lockdown and flight bans in order to limit the spread of this COVID-19. Nepal has also imposed emergency lockdown in severely affected areas such as Kathmandu, Butuwal, Bake and many other areas. So let's just hope we win this massive war against coronavirus and take us back to our normal life where we can share our happiness, joy and smile with our loved ones. If you're watching this in YouTube, please subscribe my channel and if you're watching this in Facebook, please like my Facebook page. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, stay safe from COVID-19. Take care of your family members. Thank you so much.